So I focus on spine medicine, uh, treating mostly back and neck pain symptoms. Up to 80% of the American population will experience back pain at some point in their life. The majority of people experience their symptoms due to age-related spinal degeneration within their spine. It's no, no different than getting gray hairs and wrinkles. Our back starts to degenerate over time. I love working out in the yard. I wasn't able to. Every time I would go out and try to trim anything or dig a flower bed or anything, I would just be in so much pain that I finally just gave it up. Back pain is in the typical patient an interaction of their pain system and the normal age-related degenerative changes. And what happens is people, as we become more sedentary with their jobs, sitting down a lot, and just not being as active as as we would like to be, our nervous system can become more sensitive and it becomes sensitive to these de degenerative changes and we start to feel more persistent back pain and it starts to become this chronic back pain symptom. So I made an appointment and went to see Dr. Lavelle. When he was going over everything, he allowed me to see the x-ray. I had 15% scoliosis and a lot of degenerating discs because of the osteoarthritis in my back. I typically focus on conservative treatments, but also utilizing some interventional spinal injections to help alleviate some acute pain symptoms, to allow patients to get moving again, get back to exercising and living and enjoying their life. But he said that he could give me three shots and that I wouldn't feel it because I would be going under some medication so that I wouldn't feel the shots going in. And when he did the shots, of course, I was on my stomach, but they had an x-ray there for him to guide where he wanted them. And even going home, you know, I knew relief. In recent literature, as early as this year through the Journal of the American Medical Association, which compared over 21 studies and looked at over 30,000 people, that the best way to prevent back pain is through exercise. The overall goal for my treatment is to educate patients on the cause of their back pain and the best way to improve their life moving forward. The best way to do this is to stay active. If you experience back pain, it's okay to rest, but get moving as you can tolerate and then build on that. Just keep moving and incrementally as time goes on, keep increasing that and we'll start doing some exercising and we'll start to build on that so you get moving more and functioning more and enjoying your life. He gave me a list of exercises that I could do to improve my back further and I've been doing them and I think it strengthened my back. He told me, he said, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'm here for you. You're not going to leave here and go out there and say, well, you know, this is not right and that's not right. If you have anything that is disturbing you or you have a questions concerning your back, uh, don't hesitate to call me. If you are a patient who's experiencing back pain and haven't been able to find relief, I invite you to come see me. I'll educate you on the processes that are going on within your spine and your back or your neck and help talk to you and understand those processes and develop a way we can get you moving again, getting to enjoy your life. I'll help you put the life back in your years.